why I started. I had a, a fractured skull when I was about four or five, just before I got into school, in a sense. And uh, my father used to uh, do uh, drawing things. Or he did, when I was in the hospital, he did these like little drawings. While I was recuperating, I kind of got into the drawing thing, too. And like when I got out, I, I started taking these kid classes. I really was interested in the things since I was, you know, about four or five. The things that I collect are mainly uh, like toys and uh, items that have been produced uh, in a very cheap commercial fashion, either for uh, maybe New Year's Eve or some kind of advertising things. I kind of used to have, like to have them around in terms of an environmental thing where uh, they. Uh, their kind of presence makes me feel kind of good. I'm, the ones that I collect, I mean, the way they're done, it's, uh, has a sim they have a simple quality and a directness. And uh, it's, the, they, it's the kind of thing that I try to uh, do in my own work. Or, or they have qualities in it that I, if I see in other people's work, too, that I like. It, like with bright colors and uh, the shapes and things toys uh, related to my work and use of line and, and simple basic colors kind of thing. Uh, whereas now I'm actually in a, in a sense in working with the puppets like making toys in a way or things related to that uh, rather than uh, art, you know, in terms of things that are hung on a wall which may not be that interesting to children. Whereas the things I'm doing now might you know, have more of a direct uh, interest to children as well as adults. Just the enlargement of it, too, of toys and like amusement parks and carousels and all and the different kind of uh, rides and the fun houses and things, which enlarge upon just a little toy. A painting might be thought of just like a single toy, whereas now I'm thinking of it, uh, some kind of a, a miniature carnival. The original art and or one of the original art forms was uh, in primitive tribes where they decorated themselves in a way. And that, that expression of, of art was in terms of self-decoration. And see, in a way, consciously, primitive art didn't, hasn't, didn't originally influence me so much. It, it has more, it influenced me in a spiritual way in terms of, uh, you know, I felt real good, you know, seeing the art and just being around it. It had, uh, it, I don't, it wasn't based on an intellectual thing, I think, which was uh, perhaps what uh, appealed to me, maybe, and it does appeal to me now, that, uh, that it's a feeling thing or a spiritual thing which it's based on.
my type of feeling about things relates a lot to uh, my growing up in the city. And I do have like a ambiguous thing, you know, like a country situation, but I do feel that uh, somehow my, uh, whatever I do is based in that kind of a city kind of strife or that kind of uh, uh, electric or more of a shock type thing rather than a, a, an easygoing kind of contemplative thing. I think of my things in, more in terms of uh, like an uh, obsessive thing. Another thing I relate to is with the, uh, the primitive or naive artist or they have some kind of like either a calling or something like, like that. It's really a real, real obsession in a sense. And so I, mean, I don't feel that strongly, but I, I can relate to that kind of thing where it's, uh, you know, something taking over your being. Also, the way my work relates to, like, of having to, uh, well, like, fill the space kind of thing. Like, this is some this is an old uh, uh, black artist. But, I mean, he, like, the compulsion to fill up all the areas. Ceiling, empty space kind of bothers me. Like, I like to have more things going on, which kind of, re I guess, relates to that urban situation where, you know, in an urban situation, you know, I really cramped in, packed in. Kind of sardine type thing. One of the things in relation to my art is that a lot of things that I do have have a kind of obsessional quality, or like, for instance, uh, cleaning of teeth in terms of uh, using a, uh, a dental floss, and um, like in terms of riding a bike too. I think that has a certain like obsessive quality in terms of in contrast to riding a car, some kind of a compulsion to, like, like moving lumber and th like, uh, the Vietnamese have, they use their bikes, they pile up a whole bunch of stuff, and things like that. And I kind of like, like to utilize uh, my bicycle in any, in that kind of way too. And 